from Asia to the world. Here's Daily Postscript with Saigon de Manila. Welcome to Daily Postscript. This is Titan Microwave Man covering the Skibbity Multiversaries. Today we are live reacting and usual take on this special back to a back episodes namely of Esido 37 Part 1 and Part 2. Before we continue let me have a shout out to Arjuna of Grade 7 and also to Jeremy, Reagan and James Somali including Matthew Gilbert of Speech Arts Class mentored by Renaissance man himself Saigon de Manila. Enjoy your year final week of semester assessment 2 and why our eventual year break. Certainly. Let's dive into the Skibbity Toilet Multiverse as brought to life by DOM Studio in episode 37. Yoshiki to ire Amanogawa. Episode 37, Part 1. In this mind bending installment, we find ourselves knee deep in the absurdity of the Skibbity Toilet Multiverse. Here's a recap of the chaos Clockman vs. Scientist. The animation kicks off with a clash between the enigmatic Clockman and a mysterious scientist. Their battle rages across dimensions, bending time and reality. Is the clockman trying to stop the scientist from inventing a time-traveling toilet? Or are they just arguing about who gets the last roll of toilet paper? We may never know. Regrets on nightmares. Our protagonist, Twoman, stumbles into a surreal world. Here, she encounters a motley crew of beings. Drillmen, these creatures bore their way into our consciousness, leaving existential holes. Clockmen, Timekeepers who tick and talk their way through existence, occasionally pausing to wonder why they're here. Cameraman, capturing the absurdity on film, one frame at a time. Speaker men, their words are as twisted as the multiverse itself, part poetry, part gibberish. Op course these are simply an overload hallucination effects coming from the mystical weapon of this elite skibbity nemesis. Episode 37, Part 2 the plot thickens. Brace yourself for more cosmic weirdness. Clockwoman enters. Here we will see how confused are the Tions are. Titan Drill Man was attacked knowing initially he is pro toilets group and under full pressure form the scientist. Our rockstar Titan Speaker Man have to Sayabdu and attack with our provocation our absentee construction man Titan that drills every now and then. Eventually they figure it out not to fight but attack the base. Speaker men keep chattering. The speaker men continue their conversations, veering from profound insights to utter nonsense. Are they discussing the meaning of life or arguing about the best toilet paper brand? The end part again is a conundrum of the twisted programming that another human was nearly killed this time a young girl. Our regular alliance had to sacrifice himself for this aberitono of logic feeded to the idiot pencil robot. Key themes given by this powerful illusion weaponry, plot new lore, deception, war crimes and visual overload are simply absurdity, the series revels in the nonsensical, challenging our notions of reality. Identity crisis, characters grapple with their roles within this zany universe. Who are they, really? Who are the antagonist and the actual heroes? We may never know. Regrets on nightmares. Our protagonist, Twoman, stumbles into a surreal world. Here, she encounters a motley crew of beings. Drillmen, these creatures bore their way into our consciousness, leaving existential holes. Episode 37, Part 2. The Plot Thickens. Brace yourself for more cosmic weirdness. Titan Drill Man was attacked knowing initially he is pro toilets group and under full pressure form the scientist. But our rock star Titan Speaker Man have to sigh and do an attack with our provocation or absentee construction man Titan that drills every now and then. Eventually they figure it out not to fight but attack the base. 
The end part again is a conundrum of the twisted programming that another human was nearly killed in. Shall we begin?
So there was a pre-existing colony of, or at least a world of human before this new race, or maybe virus that they, that why they become stupid in toilet. But it seems if you go to the other side of a possible lore, it's the, it's the stupid in toilet seems to be now become, if I have to use my wicked thought, they are actually in on revenge mode. Okay, uh, what happened on their own species as human? They allow allow themselves to become yeah, skibbity toilet so they can defend themselves against this AI, which is basically the the race of the Titan. Most of the Titans in that alliance are basically not human. Remember, look at the big difference. The Skibidi Talent have the head of a human, regardless if they are transforming into another thing and keep repeating themselves in most obnoxious and, uh, how do you say, exaggerated way. But these, especially the mutants, where they have extremities to their legs and hands. I think that you can, uh, well, it's the species of the Alliance are mostly, you can see there is no human head. They are mostly of different species of the real man, the cameraman, uh, who are the speaker man, and of course the pet. Uh, basically, they are uh, they are less human than than the you the humanized skip in the toilet. So we are witnessing a different lore, okay? That according to the originator of this. The boom uh, in one of the in one of the interview the other day by more uh, prominent uh, I would say prominent bloggers he had to interview that this actually started on the first probably five seven episode and he put all the possible uh, art story all together as he tried to create all the story so it's a progressive time. There was no real original manuscript, it's all in the mind. Survives, 
one of us dies. Use logic, please. I don't want to kill you. Even if we win, I won't laugh. If we lose, I won't cry. I'm just a project to start another project. Even the way I speak has no emotion. Understand. I cannot ignore my mission. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe I should change my mind at some point. Ha. 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 Get the f out of my way. While so many questions are left unanswered, before you squeeze your brain like and subserve our channel to have your enclutenment in the next upload or stream. Thank you for watching.